whatever I do in shortcut, let's say for example, if I were to rearrange out uh, the video clips right here, just like this. So each step is actually recorded out. So if I were to press Ctrl Z on my keyboard, then I can go back one by one right here. Or if you want to go back even further, you can go around into edit and click on undo option right here as well. If you want to repeat out this step, you can go around and redo out all of the things. But as soon as you make a bit of changes right here, the undo option is there, but the redo option won't be there anymore. But let's say you want to go back 10 steps or even more. So in that case, what you can do is you can use the history uh, panel right here. So over here, you can see history as an option. So if you were to click on this, you will see all of the steps that you carried out since the beginning of the project. So to view, view up history, you can also go around on to um, uh, view right here and then click on history right here. So you can see that it is disabled now. So if it is not uh, visible, you can go around on to uh, view and click on history to make it visible right here. You can go around and click on, let's say, for example, here you can see the different history versions right here, just like this. So if I were to go around and click on certain steps right here, then it goes on to that particular step right here without having for you to actually go through uh, the keys one by one. So it does take a bit of time if you're especially when you're uh, moving out to an earlier step right here, but you can go around and navigate around just like this. Let me just go around on to the latest one right here, just like this. So I'm just going to go around on to move the timeline clip, which uh, I did. And then it goes in right there, as you can see. So it goes to the final, um, uh, let's say, the move timeline clip area. So if I were to press Control Z, what happens is that it moves a step backward, as you can see right here. And if I were to redo it, so the shortcut key for redo is Control Y. So if I were to press Control Y, then it moves a step forward right here. So if I want to, let's say, for example, let me just press Control Z a few times right here. And let's say from this point onward, if I were to make any changes over here, then the step after that gets deleted right here because the change was made from that particular area. So that is how you can use undo, redo and history panel inside of Shortcut. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.